हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जीरो मैथ हैव अ लुक एट बिलो मल्टीप्लिकेशन प्रॉब्लम्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न थ्री न्यू मल्टीप्लिकेशन ट्रिक्स एंड आफ्टर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो यू कैन सॉल्व दिस मल्टीप्लिकेशन प्रॉब्लम्स विद इन टू सेकेंड्स सो फ्रेंड्स विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट्स स्टार्टेड The trick one can be applied when sum of my unit place digit number is 10 and the digits before the unit place are same so in this case you can see the sum of unit place digit that is 3 and 7 is 10 and the digits before unit place that is 2 so 2 is equal to 2 hence we are good to apply this trick so what i'm going to do i'm going to divide my answer into two parts this is my part 1 and this is my part 2 my part 1 is always going to be multiplication of my unit place digit number that is 3 into 7 which is equal to 21 and my part 2 will be this 2 which is the digit before unit place uh, digit multiplied by the next consecutive digit so next consecutive digit of 2 is 3 so 2 into 3 is 6 so 621 is our answer you can verify the same with the calculator Let's take the next example. You can see here again, one plus nine is equal to ten. So my unit place digit sum is ten, and the rest of the number that is before unit place digit that is eight. Eight is equal to eight. Hence I'm I can apply this trick. So again I will make this two parts. So nine into one is zero nine. Remember we have to always represent this number into two digit form. Hence nine will be represented as zero nine, and Next consecutive digit of eight is nine, so eight into nine is seventy-two. So seven two zero nine is our answer. Let's quickly figure out the answer to the next problem. So six into four, which are at my unit place zero. So six into four is twenty-four, and nine into ten, which is its next consecutive number. So ten into nine is ninety. So nine zero two four is our answer. Let's figure out the last one. Here you can see again. 8 plus 2 is 10, and my rest of the digit is 12, which is same. So 8 into 2 is 16, and 12 into its next consecutive digit is 13. So 12 into 13 is 156. So 15616 is our answer. Friends, we hope you are enjoying so far. Please like this video and share your feedback into the comment section. Let's move to the trick two now. The trick two can be applied when the sum of my tens place digit number is ten, and my unit place digit number is same. So here you can see my tens place digit seven plus three is ten, and my unit place digit number is same. That is four is equal to four. Hence we are good to apply this trick. Again, I'm going to write down my answer into two parts. That is part one and part two. My part one will be the multiplication of my unit place digit number. That is four into four. Which is equal to sixteen, and my part two will be multiplication of the tens place digit number that is seven into three is twenty one, plus this unit place digit number. So twenty one plus four is twenty five. So two five one six is our answer. You can verify the same with your calculator. Let's solve the second example again. I am going to write two parts, part one and part two. Part one is going to be multiplication of my unit place digit number that is two into two. Which is zero four. We are always going to represent it in two digit form. That's why I am writing it as zero four. And multiplication of the <coughs> tens place digit number seven into three is twenty one plus two, which is equal to twenty three. So two three zero four is our answer. Let's solve the next one quickly. Five into five unit place digit number that is equal to twenty five, and eight into two is sixteen. Plus five, so sixteen plus five is twenty-one. So two one two five is our answer. And the last one, so seven into seven is forty-nine, and four into six is twenty-four plus seven, which is equal to thirty-one. So three one four nine is our answer. So friends, you can see how easily you can perform this multiplication with this easy trick. The trick three is an extension of trick two. It can be applied when sum of first digit of both the numbers is ten, 
and my rest of the digits excluding the first digit are same so here we are good to apply this trick because 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 and 17 is equal to 17 which is my rest of the digit excluding the first digit number so i'm again going to divide my answer into part 1 and part 2 here the change is that part 1 is going to be a three digit number since i'm multiplying three digit number into three digit number and part 2 which is rest of my answer so part 1 is always going to be a multiplication of my number which is excluding the first digit that is 17 into 17 which is equal to 289 and part 2 will be I have to multiply this first digit number that is 1 into 9 and I am going to put one zero here that is I am going to multiply this 9 by 10 that is 90 and I am going to add this 17 to it so 19 plus 70 is 107 which is our answer so the change is here once you multiply this first digit number you have to add one zero you have to remember this let's solve the second one so again you can see 2 plus 8 is 10 and 21 is equal to 21 hence we can apply this trick so let's take the let's do 21 into 21 that is 441 and 2 into 8 is 16 add 1 0 and add this 21 to the 160 so 160 plus 21 is 181 so 181 441 is our answer let's take the next example here it is four digit number hence my part one is going to be a four digit number one two three four and part two will be rest of my answer so here again you can see three plus seven is equal to ten and zero one one is equal to zero one one so let's multiply eleven into eleven which is equal to 121 since this is four digit number i'm going to write zero here so that it will be a four digit number now let's multiply this 3 into 7 so 3 into 7 is 21 here what i'm going to do i'm going to give two zeros since i'm multiplying the four digit number i'll give two zeros and i will add this 11 over here so it will become 2111 so my answer is here so you can see such a complicated number and i can do the multiplication of the same within just two seconds friends this is an exercise for you figure out 64 into 44 using this trick and comment down your answer into the comment box of the video section friends i hope you like this video please do not forget to subscribe our channel and stay tuned with us for more videos like this thank you